Hey everybody, Uncle Jesse here. If you're a big fan of Daredevil and specifically the Daredevil Netflix series and you want to know how you can 3D print your own Daredevil helmet, you want to make sure to stay tuned and watch this video. Hey everybody, Uncle Jesse here. If this is your first time watching my channel, I cover all sorts of things from 3D printing to Xbox videos. Today, I'm gonna to be specifically focusing on making a 3D printed Daredevil helmet, very similar to what was shown on the Netflix series. As a reminder, I'll be putting out new videos every day in the month of August as part of SSS VEDA, which is vlog every day in August. So hey, make sure to check this one out and let me know what you think of this 3D printed Daredevil helmet. All right, first prints are done. I am pretty happy with how this is turning out. It's a little bit of cleanup here that I'll be doing my support files. Let's take a look at some of my settings for my printer here. See how I can optimize these a bit better since it's getting a little stringy. Not exactly what I want, but all in all, pretty happy. I'm gonna get this off the board and get the next files going. All right, the remaining pieces of my cowl are finished. Let's take them off. I'm gonna get these out of here and get them cleaned up those supports. Man, this is why, you see that? This is why I love Simplify 3D. The supports break off so easily, most of the time, most of the time. So I'm gonna get these off the plate, get them cleaned up, and see if I can get this thing assembled. So a little hard to show here, but here is some gaps that I've got in the front part of the cowl here. I'll have to fill those. It just has to do with the, I'm not sure if it was the file or how the prints actually printed on my printer or what. Actually, I was able to just now pretty much fill the seams here. Uh, there's still a little bit of a gap up the top there. All I did was on this particular print, in the corners here, I just filed this down a little bit and now these two parts are lining up much better than they were previously. There's now uh, a lot more connectivity here on the sides and up along the top. There's still a little bit of a, a crack there at the very top that I'd have to fill, but it's much less than it was. And I might try to sand this down just a little bit more to see if I can get it to connect in there. Not bad. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get for that. I think I'm going to glue it together. All right, so I got the two pieces glued together. Now that I've got two separate halves that I can put together, here's the cowl itself. Put it on, here is the front, here is the back. It's a little snug, it is a little snug. And it's not something I think that I'd be able to take on and off. I need to, again, do the little magnetic clamps here. All right, so now I've actually got my helmet. I painted this black, just use some flat black spray paint to uh, give it a nice black coat. What I'm gonna do next is actually tape off the sections here that I want to remain black because I'm gonna paint this red. I'm just going for a quick and dirty prototype of what this is gonna look like. More than likely, I'll go back over with some XTC 3D, smooth this out, fill the gaps here, all that good stuff. But for you guys, I wanted to show you what this potentially could look like all completed and done up. Uh, so what I'm gonna do again is just take some tape here and based on the photos that I've got as reference from the show, start taping this off. So I tape it off section by section. I can You can either use your finger here to fill it in up to the edge and seam. I've got this little 
spatula tool thing here that I've got that I'm gonna it helps me press into those lines into the corners totally not necessary you can use your finger for the most part and then once I've got it nice and crisp my lines I'll take my exacto knife and start at one edge press in and cut it's just a matter of peeling this away and then after I peel it off, and you hear that kind of stuck up, I can go back in there and push it back down. I'll go back over with my finger again. And then I'll just continue that all along these other areas here that I want to tape off and leave black. So for the eyes, I'm going really low tech on this. I've got a bottle of soda here, uh, cut off the top, and I trace the outline of the eye on a piece of paper, cut that out, which is shape here, lined it up, took a marker, traced it, flipped it over, traced it again, and now I'm simply going to cut that out and then use that for the eyes here. Of course, here is my scissors. So let's cut these out. I'm gonna do my best to keep this as clean as possible. Uh, I'm not going for super high end on this. I'll have to figure out a better way to do the eyes later, but for now, this will be perfect. And what I'll do is, uh, I'm gonna take the red metallic spray paint that I have and then coat these with that and then use these as the eyepieces for the mask. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see through them or not, but should look pretty cool. So here is this, perfect. So it'll go in like that. Um, I'm going to cut out the other one and then get these glued in place. So here's the finished cowl, and to say that I'm happy would be an understatement. I'm extremely happy with how this file turned out. This is a recently released file over on Thingiverse, so make sure to check it out if you haven't seen it already. There's a link down below to where you can print this yourself. Uh, the creator has stated that this is the first version and he's already working on a second version that's more screen accurate. I mean, hell, I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, I'm gonna just fill the gaps here probably over the next few weeks and work on finishing this up. Next steps for me would be to apply some XTC 3D to this to help smooth it out, further sand it, get a little bit better of a paint job on here, and then again, fill these seams. Overall, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. It does fit my head. Uh, I do need to put in some sort of a release mechanism here, similar to the Batman cowl, maybe with magnets. Um, maybe with something else, I don't know. It doesn't quite fit right now. I mean, if I break the, the seam that I've sealed together right now, uh, I would be able to put this on. The painting that I did with this, with the metal cast cherry red, it's the same paint that I actually used for my Captain America metal shield. Uh, the reason why I went with that is because I knew it would give it a hint of red. Uh, on the show, it's kind of hard to see that it is red. Um, sometimes it looks like it's black. So depending on how the light hits this, you see hints of red, but more so of the black underneath it. And then I really did go with a flat black here for the highlights. So again, feel free to paint this as you'd like. Hell, I wouldn't mind seeing a yellow and black version of this. 
Frank Miller style Daredevil. Again, this is really, really cool. This would be a great display piece for my man cave to go along with all of my other cosplay gear. If you're interested in printing your own, again, make sure to check out the files down below. I cannot recommend this enough. It's an awesome, awesome file. Hey you guys, if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the Daredevil cowl. If you think this is screen accurate enough or not, or if you'd like to see a better, more high quality version of this printed and made here on my channel. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. All right.